an episode by Renroll, and it is actually the next day now. It's 12.37. I woke up at about, like, 11.55. Well, I woke up every once in a while, like, every few minutes or so, but, um, or, like, every, like, hour or something, but I just kept on falling back to sleep. But, um, my rib from yesterday, you guys know that I heard it on the first episode on Dayvlog 12, um, but, uh, that feels not as bad as I thought it would. It, it kind of hurts, and it feels like my ribs are, like, my bottom ribs are, like, completely just really, di they're a lot different on this side than this side, so I probably just sprained it or something, um, but it, it only hurts if I, like, like, kind of, like, oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> it hurts if I, like, twist like that, but, um, that's about it for, for that, but, um, also, like, that's about it, but, like, right there, that doesn't really hurt that bad, and, um, at all, and then my ankle, for some reason, was hurting bad last night, but that feels pretty much fine now, um, but, so, yeah, it, it's now the next day, um, that, but hopefully you guys like those two episodes with Keaton and especially yesterday and especially uh, the 8th grade celebration because we had all sorts of my friends in there. It wasn't just me and Keaton. It was like Danny, Keaton, Caleb, Kenzie, um, um, and yeah, whoever else was in there. Um, but uh, first off, what I wanted to show is my updated door. Um, so as you guys know, I had, um, the, my two new, my two posters that I took off are right there. Because as you guys know, I did have a Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Cosmic Destruction right there, which was, like, my first, uh, favorite game right there. Um, but I took that down, and I also took my big, the poster you'll probably notice the most is, like, I don't have my Disney Infinity 2.0 poster up there anymore. It's kind of because it had, like, a lot of little rips all over in it, but that's under the Cosmic Destruction poster. You can kind of see it, like, right there. But, um, yeah, so I took that down, and then I basically, my hot poster is, like, right there, and my Lego Movie poster is, like, right there. But I took my Lego Movie poster, put it right there, and took my hot poster and put it up there. So now that's where all that stuff is, but these, I actually made room because this is going to be, like, my new Deadpool wall. Um, technically, it's not really a wall, but it is, um, it's my inside my door but I actually copied these for Caleb and laminated them I copied all three of them and laminated them gave them to Caleb because he like he really likes Deadpool too um and he said he was going to hang them on the inside of his door also so I just hung these ones up and uh yeah so these ones are pretty that one and that one are like brand new as you guys know this one I drew the day I went and saw the Deadpool movie in theaters um and that used to be hanging up right there but now, this is my Deadpool wall. They're all laminated. These are the original ones that I actually drew. I just copied the the ones I gave to Caleb. I copied them using my printer, slash copier, slash scan, all that stuff. And then I just laminated them, gave them to him. And he really, really liked those. He was, like, showing people throughout the um, day that I gave them to him. And he really liked them. And everybody that showed them to them, um, showed it to them, um, they were pretty amazed because... Usually when people see my drawings, I, I, like, spend tons of time on there, pretty amazed, and they ask me, like, who drew that or <laughs> whatever. Uh, but, yeah, so that's my three so far. As you can know, this one's just a Deadpool from the movie. He's, like, holding his Desert Eagle and stuff. This one is one that I thought was pretty cool, and it was and it was um a picture I saw on Google Images. It doesn't look exactly like it, but it's supposed to be, like, kind of like a paint splatter Deadpool. Um, but there's the dates. This one took me about two days, um, and then I just kind of, like, wrote Deadpool like that, and then, yeah, it was pretty confusing, like, figuring out what parts were, like, white, black, and red, but I figured it out, but it looks really awesome, it's, um, like, it's pretty awesome, because it's just Deadpool's face, like, splattered on there, and then his eyes are pretty awesome, too, then this one is Deadpool, this one was Caleb's favorite one, and, um, my friend Sierra's favorite one, and pretty much everybody's favorite one, um, at my school, um, I, I still like this one the best, I don't know why, it's the most simple one, it's just, like, I love the Deadpool movie so much, and, like, my favorite Deadpool suit is the one he wore on the movie, which is that one. Um, but also, I just like the Deadpool logo and everything, but for some reason, I just really like that one the most. Um, and then I like that one second most, and then that one third, so. Um, but yeah, this one, as you can see, took me two days again, right there. And then, um, yeah, so that is that one. It looks really awesome. You guys have probably seen this poster. It's a pretty common Deadpool poster. But it's, like, him, like, jumping up, like, aiming a gun towards you with a katana. And, uh, yeah, that's how I wrote Deadpool. I added his little eye pieces in there, and it just says Deadpool. And then this one I saw in a different picture on Google Images, but I didn't, I didn't draw that picture. I just drew this one and then decided to add that little thing. It just says too dead to die. Because, like, 
he's like technically like he got like those experiments done on him and like he blew up so technically he's like dead but also he's like deadpool and then he really cannot die like the only way that i heard that the only way he can die is getting sucked into a black hole the world completely just ending or being within a mile up from a nuke explosion um <laughs> so and really when are any of those things going to happen to deadpool so yeah, technically he can't even die, so it just says too dead to die. And then I drew this awesome little Deadpool logo, which I also saw on Google Images. That's not the complete same, because the katanas weren't that big. And also, like, I kind of showed them, like, 3D, because, like, on that, they didn't um they didn't have that those two lines in between right there. Um, So they are kind of just, like, they looked like it was, like, a double katana stuck together. And also these pistols' barrels weren't as long, and also, like, they didn't have that little slant going right there. But that's because those are actually Desert Eagles. Because those are the guns he usually uses. And I just put the Deadpool logo, the two red katanas, and then I put Desert Eagles. Because that's, I kind of re, re, um, I, the, from the original one, I kind of reshaped the handle so it's more curved on the back. Then I made the barrel longer and then I put those slants so they look like Desert Eagles. But that is that one. Oh yeah, I gotta show Deadpool some more. But I actually, like, I drew it and it didn't, it kind of looked confusing, especially like that arm popping out of his back. It kind of looked like... Yeah, like, just some random arm just kind of popping out of his back. But, um, yeah, once I colored it, I was just like, well, once I color it, it'll look better. And I colored it, and it kind of looked better. But then all of a sudden, I was just like, wait, I think if I do one more thing, um, I thought maybe if I shade it, it will make it look so much better. And it sure did. Like, this looks so 3D and just so good. But as you can see, like, um, basically, I drew, like, all the line muscles, and then I kind of, like, shaded around them in black. Um... And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks like his feet are actually back there, and it looks super 3D, and it just, on camera, this really looks printed, like, the color's all flat, and just really great, but the gun, of course, it's the part that's sticking out the most, so it's supposed to be the most 3D, and I think that pretty much works, because it, it's so cool, though, because, like, it actually looks like Deadpool's, like, holding out his gun, because the gun actually looks really 3D, but, yeah, that's that, you can just take a quick little scan over and see all the parts that I shaded, I even shaded the grenades, so those look like, little they actually look like balls like the ball grenades and everything but um yeah and then this is a pistol so there is my th first three deadpool drawings so far and i'll probably just cover this whole wall with deadpool drawings um so yeah that is that over there but then the next thing um you would have saw that one of the pictures at the beginning the first one was um that picture of smaug um that was a picture i drew for sierra she um she really wanted that because caleb was supposed to draw her dragon drawing i guess but he never did, so I just I just drew her one because I don't really had have anything to do because I actually went to my last concert, um that on Thursday night. So I, I just before I went there I drew her that, but it ended up taking me about six and a half hours to draw. But I also laminated it and everything. But uh, it was actually my last concert, and everybody was like crying at the end and everything because um it was our last concert at middle school first off, and then all of a sudden like Mr. Wenger was like the best teach was one of the best teachers ever I've ever had. And most other kids that they've ever had and um no one even like there's only like a few people at the school that even knew but he just randomly announced that he was retiring and everything so that kind of sucked but it was after 40 years of teaching but it was pretty cool to be in his last class of his teaching career and at least like he's leaving now but we're going to high school next year so even if he didn't leave or even if he did stay we wouldn't have been with him anymore anyway so um but yeah, so now, all you guys' favorite parts of this vlog, probably, the updated Photoshop wall. So at the beginning, with that smog picture, you would have saw that. But, as you guys know, at the beginning of Night Strider, I showed that uh, that picture, which was the main um, movie poster I made for Night Strider. Um, the Night Strider trailer and all that, but um, that was at the beginning of the Night Strider um, trailer and everything. And then it also was the thumbnail for the Night Strider thing which you would have saw, but I actually printed it out and made it into a poster, so there is that. That looks really good and nice and clear and everything, so that's pretty awesome. And then, of course, you guys have seen this one, Speedy Money, My Creative Mind 1, and My Creative Mind 2. But, yeah, I hung that up. It kind of made this cool little, like, square in the beginning, in the, right there, and it's kind of cut that cool little cross design center. But then my newest one right here is My Creative Mind 3, which you would have saw this at the beginning of this episode. And, yeah, that is number one. Number two, now... My Creative Mind 3. So, yeah, basically, just a quick little overview. That's actually my dad's gun, the um, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. And then that's actually a 9mm bullet that, if you look closely, you can see I'm riding on the bottom of it. 
And then those are two, those are two things that Keaton gave me. Those are two shotgun shells he gave me. And basically you can see me popping out of the top with that face. I have a 12 gauge and then my fingers are all popping out. So they look like, kind of like arms. And I'm holding a yellow 20 gauge. And then I put my face on an Illuminati lo logo or symbol or whatever you want to call it. And then I kind of like made my face a little green. So I kind of went in with it. But that's pretty amazing. And this is like the first plan I got for this one is I took BB-8. As you guys know, BB-8 is that droid from Star Wars. That one right there. And um, instead of that little soccer ball thing, I put a circle waffle. So I put BB-8's head on top of the circle waffle. And I created mine for you by Marinoid. And then basically I took the Captain America Civil War poster. You can see like it's all regular, but then on Captain America's head it's Taco. And then on Iron Man's head it's me, which me Taco looks pretty good on there too. But like me, I actually look like I was meant to be on there. Um, but then the next part is the Batman v Superman. One of the main posters for it. I put my face, I put my head on Superman and Taco Snout coming out of Batman's mask. Um, so it's on both of them. It's kind of like Taco versus me. But I, well, I, I'm, I was on Batman's side and Iron Man's side. But so I was gonna be Batman's side. It's just you couldn't even tell it was me because all you would see is like my mouth. So I kind of had to put my. Sadly, I did have to kind of put my head on. Superman, but that one, I did want to be on that side, but Taco's really the only one you could have noticed. Um, but then also, for the last part, you would have saw the carbon fiber background, and then for the last part, I put Deadpool standing there, and that's the suit from the movie. And then this is like one of the main posters for the movie, it just says, wait till you get a load of me, and then Deadpool, February 12th, and super small text. But basically, as you can see, it's Deadpool's suit with me, my face on it, and I, I think I actually look really good in the Deadpool suit, like, look at that. So yeah, that is my Creative Mind 3, and that is the updated um, Photoshop wall. It's getting pretty darn big now. It's almost covering as much as my uh, drawings did. But uh, yeah, so for the last part, I just had to show those two things. But for the last part, I said that I was going to show what Keaton gave me. So we go in here. We saw these targets. First off, I printed out another copy of my Creative Mind 3 because Keaton wanted to, wanted to shoot. And uh, gave it back to me, and he actually shot it with a slug, a buckshot, and a bird shot um, shotgun shells. And as you can see, he ripped it apart pretty bad. This side is completely fine; just there's a few bird shots everywhere. Um, but then my friend and my friend Logan in a math lab took a ruler with one of those like metal sides and cut it in half. So I just had to tape that back together. But as you can see, there's the back; you can really see it. But he didn't do much to that side. There's a few bird shots, but this side's just completely ripped apart. But, uh, yeah, so, that is that. You can see, like, um, the bird shots are, like, these little tiny holes. Um, I believe, yeah, the slug is that one, I believe. And then I think the buck shots are, like, these, like, kind of medium-sized holes. But you can see the slug is the biggest one. But that is the target he gave me back. And then, yeah, this is pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to show this real quick. So, uh, you guys would have saw my bullet collection my bullet shell and bullet shell collect or my bullet shell and bullet collection last time was like um I believe last time I showed it to you it was like these but uh basically what I did now I don't know if I showed this but um I have that big old thing of nine millimeters but what I the only nine millimeters I kept for my bullet collection was one of each type so I took a gray one which are the most useless ones and then a silver one and then last but not least a gold one. Those aren't actually gold, those are brass. And then, um, so yeah, I just, but those are the only 9mm I kept for my collection, but it's just one of every type of 9mm uh, color and everything. And then this is the only shotgun shell I had, which was a judge shell for like the little judge shotgun shell pistol thing, um, hand cannon kind of thing. But, uh, but now I actually have like legit full size shotgun shells. And first, on the first day, um, I gave Keaton 30 of my, um, I still did actually give him some, um, if you would have saw the comments, um, on Gun Mayhem 2, but I, uh, said that I would give him 30, so I gave him 30 of my 9mm things, I just gave him, uh, 30 of these ones, just the regular brass ones, um, but basically he just brought these, I didn't even know he was gonna, but he brought me a regular 12 gauge shotgun shell, and then a yellow 20 gauge shotgun shell, so he gave me those two first, then all of a sudden he comes back, the next day and gives me um he said that i probably want a slug so then he gave me a 12 gauge slug which is like one of the most powerful shotgun shells to date and then um can't remember what this one is but he gave me that one it's a 12 gauge of some sort it must 
I think this is just a regular 12 gauge, but then he gave me this one, which is, um, or, yeah, he gave me this one. Oh, yeah, I think this one's a, uh, one of these two. I don't know which one, but one of these is a slug, because then this one's a buckshot. Uh, but one of these is a slug, one of these is, um, a bird shot, but one of these is a slug, and one of these is a bird shot. So if you can identify which one, just leave down in the comments. Just say one or two. Um, so, yeah. Just leave that down in the comments because one of those is a bird shot and one of them is a slug. Because this one actually says buck on it, but this is buck shot. Like, I have four red ones and one yellow one, but now this one's like a translucent white one. But this is actually the buck shot. Um, it just says real royal buck, but that one's pretty cool. So, yeah, there is all my shotgun shells he gave me, and it's pretty crazy how much I have now because literally this is the bullet shell collection, bullet and bullet shell collection that I got by myself, like that. And then also that in those but um now keaton actually gave me every single one of these over just this past week so that was pretty awesome and as i said keaton would get a huge shout out um the past two episodes he's down in the description for his twitch um because that's pretty much all he does is like twitch twitter and he just comments on people's videos with his youtube channel he doesn't really do youtube anymore but um so yeah please go check out his twitch down in the description please go follow him he is getting so close to 100 followers uh, we had so much fun yesterday, like, hanging out at his house with us on Dave Love 12. But that was probably the most fun I've had at his house so far. So, yeah, that is my updated bullet collection. And then you guys would have saw that he made me that necklace. He pretty much wears his every single day. He gave one to Kenzie and, if, and his uh, orchestra teacher and a few other people. So, um, yeah, also thank you for that, Keaton. Um, uh, but, yeah, that is pretty much all I had to show um, in this vlog. So, yeah, um... Just comment down below what your favorite part of this vlog was. If you and comment if you made it this far. It was kind of long, but I had to show some stuff and get into detail with a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys like that picture of smell that I made for Sierra. I really like that picture. It was actually really awesome. But I took a picture with my camera and my iPod because I wanted to give her the original drawn version of it. Um, but I copied or I I have it on my camera and my iPod. And it's like perfectly in frame and everything, so it's f completely fine. But I have all that and everything, so sorry this episode is so long. As you guys know, I don't like going, I like 13 minutes or under usually, but um, yeah, so that is that. I'm gonna clean up those, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.